Can a president pardon himself? Let's talk about it. But first, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you stay educated on how your money works. One of the last important questions of Donald Trump's presidency is whether he can pardon himself. The short answer is probably not. But before I explain that, we need to contend with a number of preliminary issues. If Trump tried to pardon himself, don't expect the full answer on the question on its legality anytime in the next four years. That's because a final determination would have to be made by the courts. First, Trump would have to issue himself a pardon. Not unlikely, but also not certain. Then Biden and his attorney general would have to decide to prosecute Trump on one or another federal crime, something that they would not do unless they had concluded that parting himself would prove to be unconstitutional. Ultimately, a federal indictment would send the matter on its way to the Supreme Court. Of course, it's entirely possible that Trump had committed federal crimes in the last four years, but would any of them rise to a level that would cause Biden to put the country through the convulsions that a criminal trial of the former president would entail? It would deeply aggravate partisan wounds as well as threaten Biden's already tenuous political position as president of all the people. Biden is a healer who wants to get things done. Prosecuting Trump undermines both those goals sharply. Moreover, the federal government doesn't actually have to do anything with Trump. The Manhattan DA's office has been developing a criminal investigation of Trump for a welter of state tax fraud and federal crimes. The investigation is moving forward as we speak, so they are likely to reach a decision within a few months or maybe a year or two. And because the president can't pardon himself or anyone for state crimes, his Article 2 powers would have no effect. In fact, if Trump is smart, he wouldn't do anything, because last year New York changed its law just with him in mind. The state's double jeopardy rules used to prohibit the prosecution of someone for conduct that was the subject of a federal pardon, and that no longer exists expressly because of Trump's corrupt and pretentious use of the pardon power. Should the president pardon himself, it would be a poke in the eye with a sharp stick in New York, an invitation for the Manhattan DA's office to double down. So now to the constitutional question, which will certainly remain academic. It does present a puzzle. It's like saying if God is all-powerful, can he make a rock so heavy that he cannot lift it himself? The argument for the ability to pardon oneself rests on the unqualified nature of the language in Article 2 of the Constitution. The president shall have power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States, except in cases of impeachment. It has generally been inferred from the breadth of the constitutional language that the president can indeed pardon himself. But really, a proper constitutional interpretation would have to go much deeper to our best understanding, historical, legal, cultural, of what a pardon is. Pardon implies a grant of mercy to another. Nothing in the purposes or history of the Constitution's pardon power can be used to authorize a self-pardon. Instead, there is a very strong basis to read the Article 2 pardon power as prohibiting self-pardons. Pardoning oneself flatly contradicts a cardinal principle of Anglo-American law. No person can be a judge in his own cause. A self-pardon indisputably puts the president above the law, a result that would not look good to the framers and to our legal tradition. Self-pardon is also undercut by this phrase, except in cases of impeachment. If a president could pardon himself, it would conflict with the clear import of these words, which is that criminal prosecution of a president can proceed after an impeachment. Finally, self-pardon would do violence to the president's core constitutional responsibility to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. Trump's exempting himself from criminal law would patently fail the take care test and will at least arguably fail the faithfully part as well. Most scholars contend that word requires executive power to be motivated by some kind of public purpose as opposed to self-dealing. So what are your thoughts? Should Trump try to pardon himself? Leave a comment down below and let's get a discussion started. And as always, take care of your money. Today's book of the day is Building a Story Brand by Miller Donald. I'll leave a link to the book down below and if you prefer listening to it on an audiobook for free, I'll also leave a link to a 30-day free trial to Audible. You can choose this book or any book to listen to and even if you cancel before your free trial is over, you can still keep the book and listen to it whenever you want.